This is verse 28, the 15th chapter, Gospel of Matthew. Jesus has just uh, rebuked in a mild sort of way this uh, woman, this uh, Canaanite Syrophoenician woman who has come begging him on behalf of her daughter. And Jesus, of course, has told her it's not uh, fitting to take the bread intended for the children and throw it to the dogs, the little dogs. We've talked about that. The woman, of course, in an astonishing display of humility, says, well, yeah, but uh, you can still take the leftovers, the crumbs, food that would never have uh, reached the children anyway, and toss it to the dogs. And she doesn't uh, hesitate to uh, embrace the very thing that Jesus had said, which on its face was somewhat insulting. And of course, that was the entire purpose of this conversation, to bring her to that point of uh, uh, humility which, of course, is essential for every person who comes to Jesus to lay aside all scraps of pride and, and come in absolute uh, uh, abject humility, you might say. It was a lesson for the disciples because they were there experiencing this. So we have uh, Jesus now responding, uh, responding to this, this remarkable uh, benediction, tota, indeclinable adverb, uh, then, apokrithes from apokrinomai, uh, very common means uh, answer, I answer. This is the aorist, passive in form, active in meaning. So Jesus having answered the subject of the participle, ho yesu, so Jesus having answered, apen, said. Uh, very common formula, of course, we see it frequently in uh, these kinds of pericopes. So uh, Jesus answered and said, alte, indirect object, to her. This is the uh, feminine dative singular. Uh, o, this is an exclamation very much like the English O, O woman, gunai, O woman in the vocative. Magale, adjective, uh, feminine, uh, singular, nominative. It's feminine to go along with hapistus, which is feminine, so great. Su, second person, possessive pronoun, great of you, hapistus. Great is your faith, or great is the faith of you. The Sioux is put up front. It gives it a little additional emphasis. Great is your faith. Uh, it might even uh, be implied to stand in contrast to the faith that Jesus found among those who should have been dominated by faith. But only twice does Jesus uh, give a similar expression, once to this woman and once to a Gentile centurion. Great is your faith. Uh, Genetheto from Genomai, I become. This is the uh, aorist, uh, uh, passive uh, in form, active in meaning, third person singular. It's, it's uh, uh, imperative, so be it would be the way it's usually translated. Let it be uh, to you, soy, the dative singular, the second person pronoun. Let it be to you, hosts, just as. Uh, hosts is uh, uh, conjunction as thales, from thelo, I wish or I want. Uh, this is the uh, second person singular, the present active indicative. So be it unto you just as you have desired would be the notion. And then uh, the remark here by Matthew, giving the uh, rest of the story, Kai, the connective, Iafe, this is from Iaomai, means I make whole. This is the passive, uh, aorist passive indicative, third person singular. So, and uh, she was made whole, referring to the daughter Thugater, so the daughter was made whole. It's her daughter, possessive pronoun, genitive singular. So her daughter uh, was made whole. Apo, from, takes the genitive. Tes horas, from the hour, demonstrative pronoun, akenes, that one. So from that very hour, uh, she was uh, made whole. Uh, no indication of Jesus going uh, to the uh, site, uh, laying on hands, anything, not even making a pronouncement. Just the absolute authority he has as a deity among us, wills it to be so, and it is in fact the case. And of course, uh, the, the lesson here was partly for this woman, uh, but uh, maybe even more it was for the disciples who are now learning that uh, even among the Gentiles, the greatest displays of faith may be exhibited, whereas uh, among those who are the lost sheep of Israel, maybe that uh, is a much more rare commodity.